closets ransacked. One of Sean's eight bedrooms rifled through. Safes left wide open, a door busted down, and a teddy bear that may belong to his one-year-old daughter. This is the aftermath of the raid on Diddy's LA compound, one he is calling excessive, and a witch hunt based on meritless accusations. LA's Fox 11 was overhead and we were on the ground as Homeland Security investigations raided his estate in Los Angeles. His property on South Florida's exclusive Star Island was also searched. Diddy's attorney is calling it a gross overuse of military level force. The operation went down here almost a month to the day after a music producer filed this shocking lawsuit against the billionaire hip hop mogul. Inside, Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Lil Rod, accuses Diddy of forcing him to bring prostitutes back to his home, participating in sex acts and sex trafficking. And he claims Combs through lavish parties to garner legitimacy and access to famous athletes, musicians, and international dignitaries like Prince Harry. The lawsuit also claims that there were cameras inside every room of his homes that could have captured compromising footage of everyone who attended those parties. Authorities have not said if the search was connected to the lawsuit, which Diddy has blasted as complete lies. How difficult is it to build a sex trafficking case? The difficulty of a sex trafficking case really comes from the witnesses that are coming forward. I spoke with ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer. I mean, if you are to believe that these allegations are true, multiple people organized around him to provide and to give services, whether it be sexual, uh, drugs, guns, human trafficking. So if everyone keeps tight-lipped, very hard. But if people start talking, then the case starts to get a lot easier and easier. And now the Miami Herald is reporting why the operation could have gone down when it did. There were some thoughts that those raids were brought on because there was concern that he would attempt to destroy evidence. When you look at a search, an execution of a search warrant in two different locations at the same time, as a defense attorney myself, that's a big red flag to suggest to me that they're trying to catch the target off guard. Hey, the cops are here to start flushing things down the toilet, start burning things, start whatever it may be. Now this resurfaced Howard Stern interview with Diddy protege Usher is making headlines. Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Usher, who collaborated with Sean on kits like I Need a Girl Part One. I'll never spend the night alone. I got a few you would like. To told Howard on his Sirius XM show that he stayed for a time with Diddy when he was a young teen. What were you I seeing? went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. There were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Today, Diddy's camp isn't mincing any words about the new investigation, telling Extra there has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name.